Hi everyone, it's Helen here and thank you for joining me today. So today we are going to be starting a brand new um, series. So this is going to be based on how to use my mini album dies. But don't worry, if you're not interested in making albums from the mini dies, my channel will still be sharing um, mini albums made from scratch. So there's something here for everyone. But having a little series for this is not something that I've done yet on my channel. And I know plenty of you have already bought um, these album dies as well. So I want to make sure that you're getting the most out of the dies and I have plenty of ideas so there isn't actually going to be an end to this series it's just going to be a, a long continuation as we bring out new products and um, and as I find more ideas on how to use the dies so um, you know when you buy dies you spend money on them and you want to use them to their maximum capacity so um, I just want to bring a whole load of new ideas so with this series we'll be looking at the binding system and um, the pages the covers how to use different covers even wrapped covers as well um, how to add this beautiful spine here as well on the outside and um, also these mi uh, mini album dies and the binding are also going to be compatible with some of my gift bag dies as well so I'll be showing you how to make the pages for that as well so I'm really excited about this series and I hope you are too um, if this isn't really your thing um, I will make sure that it is labelled that it is the mini album die series and um, if you don't want to watch that video just give it a pass and there'll be plenty of other videos um, for you to watch so as I said I'll be doing plenty of other mini album videos that don't involve making it from a die so let's move on with the first set of dies so the most important thing here is the binding so we have two new sets here this is the ultimate binding system so it has been simplified so you only get the three dies and we have the addition here of the spine which um, I just shown you on the, the large blue album and um, let's have a quick look inside so you get, the, you get the three dies here so you need to cut one of these this is basically going to be the outside of your spine and this one here is a decorative extra so you can have the curved spine that closes over the top of this but don't worry everything will be explained in the binding video that will be coming up very shortly so to use this system you'll need to cut one of those and three of these and then we have all these little notches here so this is why it's called the ultimate um, binding and spine die set so um, it has all these notches here so you can trim these down to any size you want and it's also taking into account any future album releases that we make so you can cut this down to size so we also have the larger one over here as well so this is going to cut a very large um, spine and binding system so as you can see it all goes together really well so these are the three pieces here that you cut on you cut out and glue and all the score lines are done for you as well so they really just have to run it through your machine so this little one this little binding system here and um, if i could find my piece of card i was i was able to get it from one sheet of cardstock and that's a4 so obviously the larger one you will need to use more cardstock and if you do have my um previous mini um uh, binding system then it is going to be compatible with all of the um album dies so if you do have the older style it's still going to work with all of the album dies that are going to be released so it all works the same so let's pop these away so this small one here is the small ultimate binding die set and the, this one is the large one and on all of the mini album dies um, let's say uh, let's give this one for an example which is the landscape album die set editions it's going to tell you um, which binding system is going to work with it but we are going to be um, going through every single die set in the series and try, I'll be trying to cover everything for you and just give you as many ideas as possible so that is the binding so let's move that aside I'm running out of space already okay so we're going to be starting off with the portrait album die set so this was the very first album die set that I designed and um, this is basically the backbones of your dies for the album so it makes this album here and I'll probably end up putting um, pictures as I'm talking on all of these die sets because I don't have the full examples um, with me today because they are in storage for when we do shows and, and all that stuff so um, I only have what I have at home but I will be building up a collection as I make this series so I'm, I'm really looking forward to doing that so this is the portrait album die set and it has the curved spine here 
on there and basically you would cut one of these which gives you this shape here so you glue it together and this is going to make your cover and it's also going to make your pages as well so I've done the cover from the cardstock and I've done the pages from um, patterned paper and each one is also a pocket as well so you get absolutely loads of space in here for photos and then in this set you get all the pockets as well so that is the portrait album die set and then we brought out the additions for this size as well so these two are going to work together so you have your backbones here your basic album shapes and everything else and here we have some lovely beautiful pockets you can make um, pages from this die here this is a pocket die but you can actually make this um, into a page if you do some clever trimming which I will show you how to do and you get waterfall elements and nesting label dies and tags and some words and this is absolutely lovely I love this big one and I do love these corner dies as well with the ornate edging and the mats for all of them too so I really love this so that is the portrait album die set editions and the portrait album die set and they are available on craft stash um, all of my dies literally sold out within a few days um, when they were first released especially when the editions came out they all went and um, again when I was on her chanda showing these they all sold out as well so we've literally just got everything back in stock there is one die set that is currently out of stock but it is on pre-order so if you're watching this and some of these albums have gone again they should be available on pre-order where you can just um you can actually pre-order your item and it will be sent out to you directly um once it becomes back in stock or there is also um a notification if you don't want to buy it straight away or pre-order it you can have a notification for when it does go back in stock you're sent an email and um, that will be on each product page right so on with this uh, we're done with the stock levels now let's move this aside right moving on we have the landscape album die set i don't have an example of this but i will put some pictures here so this was another one of my first die sets that I designed. So it's like basic, it's um, basically the backbones of the album. And you'll be basically cut two of these ones here and you trim off the, um, the tabs here on one of them and then you'll glue them together and that will give you your album page. So it's a slightly different assembly which we'll be getting to in the series. And here we have the page that's here. So this one is going to fit uh, let's see where is it this one is going to fit the small binding if you want it in landscape so it will attach to this edge here or if you wanted to turn it on its side you can actually attach this side onto the large ultimate binding to make a portrait album which is basically this album here so using this album I've used this as my base for my pages and then I have used the landscape album die set additions to decorate and add all the pockets and um, this edge this beautiful edge and um, label mat so you get two sizes here and it gives you the stitching detail as well and you get the um, the wordings and you get all these lovely ornate corner mats as well so I've used um, the corner mat there and I've used all for the matting and this is actually you can actually have this as um, an additional uh, insert or pocket there but it does have the pockets at the top as well and then we have the waterfall elements here and I think this is a pocket yes it is so that is an actual pocket and I've just used all lovely things to decorate it with so we get extra leaves and um, waterfall things and tags and just lovely things that layer up so it's a really nice die set there it's really going to make um, die cutting and um, your albums really super easy and this uh, long one here this one was actually designed for um, the flexible gift bag so that's going to be a lot longer right so that is the landscape album die set and the additions so they are available on craft stash and uh, they are bundled up as well so if you wanted to buy both you can save some money on that 
Okay, so this is the MIDI album die set. I absolutely love this one. So this one goes together exactly the same as the portrait one. Same sort of style page, so it's really easy. You run it through once, glue, glue them all together. And I do have an example here. Where have I put it? Um, I'll put it down somewhere. Oh, it's hiding behind the big album. Here it is. So this is the album that I've made using the MIDI album die set. As I film this, it is out of stock, but it is on pre-order. You can either pre-order it um, or you can put your name down um, on the page in the um, there's a little box where you put your email. So you'll get an email as soon as it comes back into stock. Okay, so let's have a quick look inside here. So as I said before, I've used this um, page die here to make the main pages and then I've just really gone to town almost decorating it. It's not finished yet. So we have elements here for magnetic closures which will be this one here and further down I'll show you again um, on this part here where you can have a non-magnetic closure as well. So this opens up and then this opens up so you have these flaps so everything's all die cut and um, scored for you so you just got to choose your colours really decide how you're going to decorate your album and again each page is a pocket and you get these beautiful um, tab dies here there we go we've got a tab die and you get the page mats as well so I've done a double open up there and here we are here we have the waterfall and um, I've used this one here and I absolutely love this die because it has a mat so you can actually use that on your photograph to actually cut out the part of the photograph that you want on your waterfall element so using this section here this die here and this die here you can make a non-magnetic opening for your waterfall so it's really 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 easy to use and then that just tucks in like that so if you want to use magnets you don't have to and um, it's very basically decorated because I put this together uh, just for a quick example and if you're wondering about this die here this is from the editions die set which is the midi album die set edition so these two also go together and I've used this extra long die here this is actually quite a big mama so let's pop that out here we go and um, here she is she's very very big it goes all the way down there so um, it's going to cut out one of the edges and then do negatives on the other side so it's not going to cut it out completely um, so you can do your lovely edges to your cards to your album pages so especially with the additions you're not literally stuck to um, making albums there, there's so many other things that you can do with card making this pocket is perfect for making um, a little pocket for a gift card inside your card I've used this on the front of a card I'll just grab that here we go so I've just used this element here in the flowers just to make this beautiful card. It's really simple and easy to put together. I really love how that's turned out. And I've used the Mrs. And Mr. and Mrs. die as well. That's also from Simply Made Crafts. So all of the links for everything that I've shown you today will be down below. So that is the MIDI album die set and editions. And I just love this. I just absolutely love this size. And another thing that you can actually do with the additions is you can make um, the pages without actually having to use this back one here, the MIDI album die set. You can make an album with just this and the binding. So let's move this out of the way. Running out of space. Things will start to fall on the floor in a minute. Okay, so here is an example of a page where I have just used this mat here, this page mat here. It's exactly the same size as the pages from the other uh, MIDI album die set. And I've just cut two out, one from purple, one from ivory, so it does all the stitching. And I've used this super long edge die here along one of the edges and it's created a pocket. So there we go. This is one of the lovely ornate pockets as well. So if you can imagine all your photographs stuffed in there on page mats and everything, and you can even use some of these um, mats here to cut out your photographs, especially with this one there. I just love how that has turned out. You also get the belly band as well. Um, here we go, we've got the belly band there. Loads and loads of options, but this album was made with a combination of both 
and again you can actually make um, an album with a wrapped cover. Remember the traditional wrapped covers where you use the hardboard and you wrap it up and you've got the, uh, the, the, spine, the hard spine on the back and um, basically you would literally just, this would be the inside of your um, book and you'd add glue to this edge here and then you would glue that inside your hard cover. So I do have a very rough um, one made up, I'll just grab that one. This one I've made on Hachanda, so I haven't quite finished this one, but this is an example of using a hard cover. So it's a hard cover, I've used some sticky back uh, glitter, um, not fabric, but sticky back plastic, and I've made the hard cover and I've just glued in my binding. So that is the small ultimate binding, and then I've just started to add my pages. So this one is literally just using the additions. As you can see, I've got my page mats either side, and I've used the inner page mat there to decorate it with the papers. And I absolutely love how this has turned out as well. So I'll be covering this in the upcoming series as well. So the next video after this one is going to be the binding, how to adjust it, how to use it in um, hard covers, um, how to attach your normal covers if you are just using the page dies. And um, we'll be just working our way along, putting a beautiful album together. So I hope you're um, looking forward to this series, especially if you're interested in um, how these albums work and how they all go together. Um, I just really want to get all the information out there so that you're not stuck for ideas and you know how everything goes together. So I've just noticed here that the dots are missing from my memories. I might actually use some Nouveau drops just to create the, the dots on the eyes. Don't forget to dot the eyes. Okay, so thank you for joining me today. If you like this, give me a big thumbs up and I will see you again soon.